This is Our Lives, I'm Gwen Edwards. A day of jazz and soul is planned for downtown Bridgeport on August the 28th. And we have one of the creators, organizers of that event with us today, David Daniels III. Thank you so much for joining us here on Our Lives. My pleasure, thank you for having me. Started planning this before the coronavirus, and then it hit. Tell us about this labor of love as you try to get this up and running. Well, I've been to a jazz fest all around the country, most notably the, uh, the Columbia Jazz Fest for the past 17 years. I've been up to Newport, I've been to Hartford, and the last jazz fest I went to was in Waterbury, and I thought, you know, why can't we have one in Bridgeport? Now, years ago, I started planning the pre-COVID, that we were moving along pretty good, and then COVID hit and Connecticut shot, uh, shut down, and we went dormant for a little while, but we kept planning in the background. So when the state opened up again in, in June, we decided to go forward. And tell us what we can expect that day. We've got a nice lineup. Uh, Allison Williams is going to be the R&B artist, and, you know, who has a trio who has traveled through Europe and, and has had CDs put out. we got the Top Notch Band. Uh, the Top Notch Band is we have a couple of local artists, but we also have food trucks. We have, uh, we're going to do a paint and sip like they do at the event. Uh, there's going to be a lot going on. And I understand that you're you're looking for vendors. We are, we're actually, we're still looking for local talent. We're looking for vendors, and we're looking for sponsors, too. One of, the, one of the things about doing a free concert is it's only free to the people that come. There's a lot of costs that are associated with it. And how do they contact you if someone is interested in becoming a sponsor, being a vendor, uh, being a performer? My number is area code 203-806-619. They can reach Amy at area code 203-260-8081, or they can uh, contact us via email. The email address is bptjazzfest at gmail.com, or we have a Facebook page called the Bridgeport Jazz Fest. It appears to me that you're hoping that this catches on, it becomes more than just a, a one-time thing? Well, I'm looking to make it a legacy event. You know, most of the Jazz Fest that I've gone to have lasted over the course of the weekend. So what, what I'd like to do is get it up to that point where we can do it over the course of the same weekend until the end of time. Well, again, David, thank you so much for your time. Looking forward to some cool jazz on a hot night in downtown Bridgeport. Thank you for having me. And we want to thank you for watching Our Lives, where we bring you information, interviews, and stories that you will see nowhere else. For Our Lives, I'm Gwen Edwards.